<laughs> Introduce yourself. Hey everybody, it's JP1970. And I'm up here hanging out with Boots and Jeans Riders. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I didn't even see you guys getting gas. I was like, oh, that's good. That'll be good for afterwards. I didn't get gas. <laughs> okay, there he is. JP1970. <laughs> How you doing, brother? <laughs> good to see you. On the Ducali Scrambler. My little commuter bike. There it is, right there. The easy, the blue. What's your bike name? What's his name? Yeah. Night shift. Yeah, night shift. <laughs> night shift. I guess. A night shift. Right, let me turn on. That breakfast smelling good. <laughs> We just left Digger's Diner. Right there? Well, I don't see it. Yeah, JP, we going to gas up. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go babysit. All gas up and to go babysit. I waved like I thought you were going to keep going. No, I'm going to ride a little bit with y'all, then I'm going to turn off. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, this ride is officially on. are headed on some fantastic back foot the road with JT 1970 and Kate will be breaking off unfortunately going back and get her baby fitted on and JP and I JP is on at the Cotty Scrambler and we're gonna have a good time today I have 81 on the temp but it feels like 72 you got 81? All right. When we get up to this stop sign, we are making a left. Cake will be breaking off to the right and headed back home. See you later. After this car, we take it off. It is on now. Boats and Jeans Rider in JP1970 on the road again. Back hills of Antioch, Deer Valley Road. Everything is uh, brown or what we like to call golden. Yeah, baby. Up, oh, just lost contact with Kate. Country. Me and JP 1970, Jason is behind me. But we are not in Napa Valley. We're in a town called Livermore. And Livermore has a wine country. <clears throat> We're only approximately three miles from Mines Road, which is some of the great twisties in this area. Okay, this intersection up here is what we've been waiting for. The first First couple of miles, not too twisty, but we should be okay. And it starts off, start off twisty immediately, but then it goes into a straight road. Like right here. I think it's not into mile six that it really gets into it. This is Mines Road, Livermore, California. Okay, now we are into it. So I'm gonna let the camera run so you can enjoy another California Twisted Road. One of our favorites, Mines Road, Livermore, California. And we just reached a mile marker six. It's where it start getting busy at. Trying to 
75 degrees, oh my goodness. And on the weekend, this road is packed with sports bikers, and you can see why. Look at the little valley down to the right. I'm trying to slow down so you can see it. But, and Bakeman going to the left, so I can't look over there. ever do scenery justice. And you know we got a drought in California and everything brown or shall we say golden. <laughs> but we do have evergreens that spot the mountains and it looks perfect with the golden brown and the dark green trees. Rolling hills to my right. seat on and he was saying it's not that comfortable and today's ride is 150 miles and man I know he's going to torture I hope he's enjoying the twisties and not getting beat up by the seat advanced road but I believe any road anyone could ride if they just slow down and had a more experienced rider ride it with them to set the pace and the experienced riders when you ride with the beginners don't leave them behind set the pace for them or if you don't want 
set the pace, let them ride it, and obviously they're going to slow you down if, if they listen to your instructions. So Jason is back there behind me. I didn't bring my tall 360 stick with me to catch him. But I don't see him. And what y'all always talk about, when you're riding twisties, you get a person in front of you some room. You don't have to see him because you come around that corner and he's down, he or she, I should say, is down. And if you're too close, you might not have enough time to stop. And then you have two bikers down. So I always say, who's going to save you? We go up to Mount Hamilton, which we are not doing today. It gets even twistier and more fun. So that's definitely not a beginner or intermediate road. That's advanced road, and that's more on the technical side. Now, what I call technical is as if you were in parking lot practice when you have to counter balance your bike on a, on a turn, on a U-shaped turn, a switchback going uphill as if you were doing little parking lot maneuvers. That's what I consider technical. This, some people call it technical, but you know, I'm not saying I'm no better than anyone else. However, it is challenging, but not technical. As long as you're riding within your means. So if you're coming to California and you already rode the PCH, and you know I always suggest ride the PCH, and you're looking for something different, you don't mind coming to inland and getting off the cold ocean, y'all know what to do. Look us up if we're home. <laughs> Stopped at the junction. Not only was it closed, but the gates were closed because they only open on Saturdays and Sundays from morning to 4 p.m. And, and then dinner. And this is Friday. They open at 4. And both Jason and I have to go to the restroom, so we have to go a little further down. I think probably about another 15 miles till we run into a campground or a park that I know has restrooms but it's gonna get pretty rough up here <laughs> 